Welcome to KetoMealsAndRecipes.com. Today I'm going to show you how to make one of my family's favorite keto comfort meals. This recipe is adapted from my mom's version of stuffed bell peppers. I love making this stuffed pepper recipe because it's actually very easy to make and the finished peppers in the simple but spicy tomato sauce adds the perfect savory balance and makes this such an incredible meal. And the other nice thing about it is that it actually uses my ultimate keto hamburger recipe for the filling. And recycling recipes in this way helps to make meal prep much easier. While reducing repetition and also allowing for prep ahead and freezer type options, I hope you'll give this delicious stuffed bell pepper in spicy tomato sauce a try really soon. The macronutrient ratio for each half stuffed bell pepper is 2.221 with 12.4 grams of total carbs, 3.6 grams of dietary fiber, resulting in 8.8 .8 grams of net carbs per serving. As I've mentioned, I used my Ultimate Keto Hamburger as the stuffing. So the first thing is to make a double batch of the Ultimate Keto Hamburger recipe. Since my ultimate keto hamburger recipe is actually a very tasty gourmet burger recipe, I would like to mention that I also use this recipe when I make my Juicy Lucy burger. Both of these burger recipes will be posted in the description below. Now that I have made the double batch of the recipe, I'm going to set it aside for a moment so that I can preheat the oven to 188 degrees Celsius or 370 degrees Fahrenheit and to also make the very easy spicy tomato sauce, which begins with a can of whole San Marzano tomatoes added to a medium-sized pot. Here I'm going to use a potato masher to mash the tomatoes. Using a potato masher will result in a bit coarser texture and a deeper red color to the sauce, whereas using a blender to puree the tomatoes will result in a very smooth and much paler color, and that's not the texture that you're really looking for. After the tomatoes are well mashed, add the dehydrated garlic flakes, the dehydrated onion flakes, the dry parsley, the salt, and the olive oil, which will give this sauce a very wonderful Mediterranean flavor. Now stir to combine everything. Cook over medium heat and bring it to a light simmer. Once it's simmering, cook for five more minutes. This will bring out the flavors in the sauce. Then set the sauce aside while you prepare the bell peppers which simply begins by cutting each bell pepper in half. Cut through the stems so each medium-sized bell pepper also has half of the stump. This will allow for a better enclosure for the stuffing and it also looks nicer too. Instead of using a full bell pepper, I prefer to cut the bell peppers in half. As a vegetable, bell peppers are a bit higher in carbs and I do consider the bell pepper carbs in total when I'm calculating my macro ratios. Next, I weigh out 142 grams or 5 ounce portions of the Ultimate Keto Burger meat preparation and stuff each bell pepper with a portion of the meat after weighing it out. When you're putting the meat in the bell pepper, make sure you press the meat into the inside of the bell pepper so that it fills the entire cavity and pat and compress the top of the meat to make a nice smooth surface. Because this is going in the oven, I used an oven proof casserole dish with a lid. And into this casserole, I poured about three quarters of the prepared tomato sauce and spread it all over the bottom of the pan. Next, I snugly placed the bell peppers into the pan. When all the stuffed peppers were in position, I poured a bit of the remaining tomato sauce on each of the bell pepper halves. Then cover the casserole with its lid and bake in the center position of the preheated oven for 45 minutes. When I'm serving these stuffed bell peppers, I like to place a little bit of the tomato sauce on the bottom of the plate first. Then I place half a bell pepper, or two if someone's really hungry. And to finish off, I drizzle a bit of the spicy tomato sauce on top. To make this into a complete meal, I like to serve it with a simple spring salad with cucumber pieces, with a bit of olive oil and apple cider vinegar. That's all it really needs. And I also like to serve either my keto hamburger buns, which are more like a white bread, or for a heartier, more of a whole grain type roll, I make my easy keto buns and rolls. I hope you enjoy this recipe. By the way, the leftover stuffed peppers and the sauce should be placed in a glass container with a lid and stored in the refrigerator. The stuffed peppers will keep well for three to four days and the bonus is the flavor will develop more. 
Thank you very much for watching this video. Please subscribe and turn on your notification bell, and I hope to see you next time. The link for all mentioned recipes and the directions for this stuffed bell pepper and spicy tomato sauce will be posted in the description below.